These are the ingredients of our budbud pilit. We have the glutinous rice or the arabon or the pilit. Okay, this has been soaked for 5 hours or overnight. Then we have, this is half kilo of glutinous rice. And we have white sugar. This is half a cup. Then we have one tablespoon of, oh no, one teaspoon of salt. And our crushed ginger. Then our fresh um, coconut milk. Okay. So now we will be incorporating all of this. And we will bring this to a boil. Okay, so first are the liquid. We have here our coconut milk. Mixed with our half a cup of white sugar. One teaspoon of salt. And then our crushed ginger mixed now we will bring this to a boil Okay, we have here our boiling uh, coconut milk, so we'll add our soaked glutinous rice. Mix. We mix this until it is well incorporated and it is partially cooked. Continue stirring until it is partially cooked. So this is our partly cooked glutinous rice in coconut milk. We also have here some ginger crushed ginger you know aside from the fact that ginger gives aroma to whatever dishes that we prepare ginger has so many nutritional benefits okay um, the compounds that the ginger contains is called gingerol it is a substance with powerful medicinal properties it is used in so many traditional and alternative medicine Okay, it improves in digestion, it reduces nausea, it helps fight flu and common colds. Okay, huh? So, aside from that, ginger also has a very powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. It reduces day-to-day -day progression of muscle pain, it lowers blood sugar, and improves heart disease risk. It also reduces menstrual pain. It lowers our cholesterol level in the body, it prevents cancer, and it protects us against Alzheimer's disease. Okay, so that's how powerful ginger is. So it is very advisable that we add ginger to any of our dishes. So here's our partly cooked glutinous rice and coconut milk. So now we will be wrapping this in our fresh banana leaves okay so you get a spoonful of the rice or the glutinous rice and then you roll like a lock like this one see the 
strong. Then you squeeze the end. The purpose is so that um, the rice will plant and will be compacted. Okay? See, that's how it goes. Put here. Then do some more. A spoonful. Then roll. You do it slowly okay okay we are using a very um, fresh banana leaves we didn't wilt the banana leaves okay okay since it's very fresh and it's very young so apply a ball we don't need to wilt or in our local term um how because Linghudman siya and it's very soft and pliable. The purpose of kanang paghaub or wilting is to make the banana pliable. The banana leaves pliable. Okay? And so this is a bit bigger. Kuhaan nato. a very pisai na bot bot okay notice i love making bot bot using the linghod na dahon sa saging okay it looks very pretty compare sa katunggo lang or green the dark ones diba mo see it's so pretty okay we will be putting our wrap the board or so on in a steamer we will be steaming this for around 20 minutes okay considering that it is already partly cooked so dali na lang siya maluto Serve our good food. Hmm. Okay. Our mga kadiwat, mga ancestors nga mga kalag ginikanan like mine, mama and papa, malipay git sila sa home offering. Freshly cooked bud bud. Yeah. We're freshly cooked bud bud with our freshly made sequate.
Oke. Okay. 